The United States has a big art car movement, art car parade and even a museum dedicated to art cars. As an artist, I've always wanted to create my own art car. This is a five year video diary of my art car project. Day one, and as you can see, my old transit has come to the end of its hard working life, driving from one end of the country to the other every week. So it's going to be my art car project and only used for moving my art materials and sculptures. After the bodywork repairs, I give it a quick coat of white paint to give me a blank canvas. I painted that green stripe in white. I painted the wheel arches. Um, I've just done some pencil lines to give me this nice shape here and then just painted it in. Um, for the flowers, I've cut a, a cardboard uh, a petal like this and just drew around it and painted it. I'm not too fussed about the finish. This is an old school hippie van. So uh, it's just something cheap and cheerful just to make it look nice and just to end its last few years if you like. The van is now finished. Just a quick guided tour. Every year I celebrate St George's Day with a different theme. I take a large sculpture of George around the town. This year George was a cool hippie dude. Love and peace man. This was just the start. A year later I turned it into a hillbilly camper. I've now finished all the woodwork on the van. I've stripped it all off. I've painted the van brown. And I've also made a wood burner out of some old scrap. I'm just going to paint it black, cut a hole in the roof and then fit it. Well, the hillbilly camp is finally ready for the carnival. I just need to get the trailer finished. After the carnival, I took the sliding door and the back doors out so you could use the side window and entered it into Shed of the Year as Mr Timber. I think he was the first man to be entered into the competition. After the weight of the hillbilly camper broke the rear springs, I stripped it down and painted zodiac signs on the van and it became the astrological transit. This is the movement of the stars for telling people's fortunes. Then, 12 months later, it's time for a bit of colour. I'm just finishing up painting the dragon for St George's Day. It's 50 years of psychedelic this year, so the whole theme's going to be psychedelic. I mean, the guy who came up with St George, he must have been on drugs anyway. So hopefully the next time I'll see you, we'll be loading up on the 23rd of April. St George's Day in 2015 has now been and gone. It's time to start the new design. Okay, it's time to bite the bullet and start sanding it down. I really laid the paint on thick last year, so I really need to get rid of all these edges. I've now just finished sanding the paintwork down, and I'm going to give it a good old coat of beige. I've now finished the base coat on the back, and for the second coat, I'd like a finish like this. I've been experimenting on the, on the board with different techniques, and as soon as I've perfected the technique, I'll be able to show you how I do it on the van. The design is simply achieved by putting paint onto the van with a brush, and then using a thinner soaked rag, just stipple the paint into the other colour. So it blends it in nicely, so there's no brush marks, no seams. Then once the van's completed, I shall then put my design over the top. You may have guessed already what this year's theme is. It's cavemen and cave paintings. The images on the van are taken from the famous Lascaux caves in France. I've done the spotted horses, the rhinos, and the next panel is going to be the famous Hall of Bulls. Um, I just paint around the outside of the template and then shade it in. So the next time you'll see it, the van will be finished. My main cave is now finished. I've also got cave paintings on the inside and even got a campfire on the go. This is now the end of my five year art car project and hopefully I've inspired you to start your own art car.